Today we're focusing on Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics, the topic of number, the subtopic of exponential growth and decay. So to start off, what is exponential growth? So when a quantity grows exponentially, okay, so that's the word we use, exponentially, it is increasing from an original amount with a particular ratio like R percent, for example, for n number of years. Now, um, real, num uh, real examples when we talk about exponential growth is, of course, how the population increases, right? It rapidly goes up. Same way bacterial growth, it multiplies very quickly and even infected by a virus, right? Uh, so first the virus comes in and then within a few seconds it infects our cells and then there are multiple viruses um, in our body. So uh, that's basically how um, exponential growth works. And we usually use the same formula for our compound interest. And this is the formula that we use. That is the final amount is basically the principal amount into a particular ratio percentage that we are investing to the power of the number of years. So moving on, we have decay. Okay, so exponential decay is basically decreasing from the original amount for n number of years. And the only difference that you will see here is basically that this um, uh, sign is basically a subtraction and it's an addition if it is an exponential growth case, right? And um, in this case, the examples that we look at is, for example, temperature of hot water cooling down, uh, value of a car decreasing over time or even something as simple as radioactive decay, right? So these are examples of exponent. So coming to the example, we have Revi who is buying a car for 17,000 and this value of this car will experience compound decay at a rate of 25% per year. Work out the value of the um, car after eight years. So we basically list down the information here. P is 17,000, then we have R, which is basically 25%, and we have N, which is eight years. And what do we do? We just put everything into the formula, right? So A is equal to P, open bracket one, minus 25 over 100 to the power of eight, using the formula we have for decay, because it does say it's compound decay here. And finally, we can work out the answer. All right, so we're going to finish off with some questions. So the world population in 2000 was approximately 6.08 billion. The annual rate of increase was 1.26%. The function to model the world population is given as this. Predict the population in 2040. So um, basically from this equation, um, we can see that we want to find a of 40, right? Because we want to find the function 40 years later. So the initial population is 6.08 billion. And I'm going to put E to the power of, um, so 1.26 um, is the percentage we're looking at here. So we can convert that into um, decimal form. So that is uh, 0 0.0126 and that into um, 40 because we want it to be 40 years. So 40 times 0 0.0126 and um, e to the power of that answer and then we're going to multiply that by 6.08 Billion. So this brings us to 10.06 billion, which is option number 